Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Metronic. In this video, we will discuss on how you can globally update your font family within Metronic. We will also talk about how you can add new fonts if you need a secondary font. And let's get right into it. So first things first, uh, you need to purchase and download Metronic. And once you've done, just unzip it and it should look something like this. Open this folder within your IDE of your choice. We are using Visual Studio Code. So in this demo, we'll be talking about uh, primarily on demo one. Um, if you need um, more information on how our SAS system works or our SAS framework works, uh, a link will be in the description below on us discussing on the overview of Metronic's SAS uh, file structure. So please have a look at that first before we jump into this video, if you do understand how the SAS, uh, all the variables and all where everything's located. So um, first thing we need to do is, since we're changing the globals, uh, global fonts family, uh, what we can do here is we need to do two things. We need, we need to first update the include, uh, the font include uh, line, and then change the CSS or uh, SAS uh, variable for the font family base. So to locate where, where to change the include line is you go to your dist, any demo has this, you go to dist and then you go to index and then you see it right here. So let's go ahead and look for a new font to change it to. So let's go to Google fonts and let's pick maybe yeah, let's maybe let's pick this. Okay, as you can see, you have all these different fonts. So what we need here is, if you look into Metronic's um, default font family, which is Poppins, we have the styles of three, four, five, six, and seven hundred. So let's go ahead and just select all of these as well. Three, four. Uh, we have don't have five hundred here, so that's fine. I can leave it out. So there's no six. Let's go ahead and grab. 700 and 800. So what we do here is click embed and then just copy this, put it here and then delete the old one. And then all we have to do is we also need to grab this, but we do that later. We need to first go into our components and then variables demo. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a new variable to declare our base font family. Now, how do we find what the variable is called? We go to our bootstrap and then if you do a quick search for font family, you can see the main base font family is here, which is the, by default poppins. So let's copy this whole thing, put it into our demo and then replace this with our new font, which is this one. So go ahead and paste that, save this, save our index, go back to our main folder. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick compile. So go to our tools folder, open up CMD, and then type in gulp dash dash demo one. All right, it's done. Let's set up our local host. Okay, so let's copy this, open up our browser, put it here, and there you have our new fonts globally set. So to do a quick compare, let's look at our live demo. Okay, as you can see, this is our live demo. Uh, it's using our default Poppins uh, font, and now we're using the Meriwether one. All right, if you want to create a second font, say um, you're in your project, you need to use two different fonts. All you need to do is you need to search for your second font. So let's go in here and go back to Google Fonts. And let's look for, let's say, let's go for something uh, pretty different. So let's take maybe this. 
let's remove all this and grab this one so we grab this actually technically you can actually just include one file like one thing by itself by adding more uh, embeds here it's like this so we've used this font previously so we had this this um, this and this so you have you just include all this into your index so replace the ones that we have do it once so we don't have to include it twice and grab the second one and then go back into our variables demo and create a new variable called font family secondary paste it there okay that's fine save this so now we need to change or switch something up so let's say we want to um, change our dashboard or oh, not our dashboard we want to change our menu all right our aside menu fonts it's with the new font that we just got so we go to our layout we go to aside and in here in our aside menu we can just go with say font uh, family and then include the variable that we just created so you can put this anywhere you want so if uh, as and when you are your projects required you can just include this and that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and compile it all right it's done let's look at our menu as you can see the fonts changed granted that this fonts doesn't look that good so uh, further optimization is required if you are using uh, different fonts as well so that's it for this video is um, you can change fonts as easily as that i hope you find this video informative if you did please give us a like and also subscribe to our youtube channel so the next time we release a new video you get an update uh, please follow us on our social medias like our twitter and facebook links will be in the description below we will also link um, the introduction or the overview video for our, our SAS file structure video uh, in the description so please check that out um, yeah so i'll see you guys in the next video take care